My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got a 1971 LT1 Corvette. Number match motor, number match four speed. It looks like it was body off the frame restored. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures top to bottom. That's where you can read all the specs. That's where you find price tags on every collector car that we do have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I bought a collection of four cars from Georgia. Uh, a couple of them were nut and bolt restored uh, Corvettes, and then there was a newer Camaro with hardly any miles. But anyway, this was his driver. We made a collection uh, purchase, and then he decided he wanted to keep this one for a couple months longer because it's just his favorite, because it's the one you can get in and drive. Uh, and then after I bought the car, he called and asked a couple times, you drive that car yet? You drive that car yet? So the point I'm making, it's a great driver. Uh, underneath the car, I'm honestly not 100% sure if it was off the frame or not, but it certainly looks that way. The floors, the fiberglass floors are just nice and clean, like in their raw fiberglass, like they should be. Uh, I didn't see any damage or repairs. And all the chassis, the frame, the components, smooth clean metal not flaky or crusty uh, with a nice satin black finish and pretty much every component every nut bolt clip everything is clean like it was all apart uh, the front end's been completely rebuilt all the uh, power steering control valve the ball joints uh, everything looks like it's been replaced now when this was done i'm not sure not many miles on it but might have been 10 years ago or something uh, these have independent rear suspension. Uh, also, the components, the nuts and bolts that hold the components together, it's all nice and clean. So again, I'm assuming it's a part and rebuilt at one point. Uh, disc brakes all around, all four wheels. Uh, calipers look clean. The e-brakes all hooked up. Um, all that looks good. It has a spare tire carrier in the back. It's complete, not broken, although there is not a spare in it, but the carrier is all there. Uh, the exhaust system looks new. It's a dual a factory type exhaust, dual exhaust with the factory type mufflers and the chrome square tips going out the lower rear valance. Uh, you look up at the motor, it looks spotless. A clean Chevy orange motor. The lower shielding around the plug wires is there. The fuel pump starter that all looks, you know, uh, like GM factory equipment. Has the number matching M21 Muncie four-speed transmission. Uh, the U-joints look like they're replaced. I'm pretty sure the rear end is original. The first letter is correct for a 71. I couldn't read the second letter, uh, but it is a posi, uh, and I, it looks like it's the correct one. It has the right stance as well, a little higher in back, and it's sitting nice and proud. It's not worn out. So again, rebuilt suspension. Now, the body, the body itself's in real good shape. The paint job is a five-footer. From here, it's fantastic. When you get up on it, there's imperfections in the paint. That's why I was emphasizing this is a driver. <clears throat> but let's start with the body. Uh, the wiper door is sitting up right now. I don't know why. Uh, we'll have to check that out, but it is sitting up high. But the gaps are all square. The hood fits real nice. These headlights fit spot on. They're not crooked or wonky looking. They fit real nice. I don't see any damage. A lot of times you'll see bumps from the rivets rusting and pushing through the fiberglass. I don't see that here. The original chrome up front, and it, it's all lined up nice and straight. Uh, this is real nice, no damage, no damage. The gaps are all square. The door fits beautifully, excellent. It's all real nice. 
The T-tops, I just took them off. They store behind the seat. I don't know if you, how many know this, but the rear window literally pops out and it's stored underneath here. There's actually a, a door that drops down. You put the window in and you close it up. No damage in the fiberglass. I don't see any cracking. <clears throat> you know, they're fiberglass cars. They do tend to crack and I, I don't see any. The body, the body's excellent. Uh, now when it comes to the paint job, just imperfections. The worst one is right across the hood here. There's like a line of, of bubbles about so long where the paint's kind of lifted uh, right in the uh, scoop there as well. You might have noticed in our pictures it did not have the LT1 stripes. Uh, it was on back order. We just installed that. Uh, but all this paint is, is smooth and nice. It's just like a little tiny nick here or there. Little imperfections. This is all nice and shiny. Up here, there's a little bubble there. There's some imperfection. Paint's a little bit duller right there. This is all looking real good. A few little like dimples through here. And, and they're there. It's not a pristine paint job, but it's a type of car and paint job. People are going to walk up on it. They're not going to notice this stuff. The worst of it is the hood. If it really bothered you, you can paint the hood and the rest of the car, I think it'd be really acceptable. Uh, windshield looks crystal clear. It's got the 15 by 8 Corvette wheels. The trim looks to be in really nice shape. Uh, the Goodyear tires look to be in excellent shape. Got a lot of meat on them. The chrome... I'm guessing it's original chrome. It has patina. You know, they show well. Um, but when you get up and look at the bumper, they show their age. There's some freckling on the bumpers. It has the original type antenna. The cross flags look new. The mirror, probably new. Door handles are a little worn. But yeah, real nice overall appearance. Uh, why don't we open it up, see what's inside and under the hood. So door jams are painted up nice. The weather strips uh, are replaced. They're nice soft rubber. The interior is very, uh, I'm gonna say above average on this car. Door panel looks like it's new. And the hardware trim looks to be in excellent shape. Now this whole dash pad has no cracks or splits that I had seen. Uh, the instruments, console, all of it's very nice unabused it's not broken or beat up it's not slapped together you got quartz movement in the clock uh, you got the factory am fm stereo so nothing's cut up and the tachometer red lines at 6500 rpm that's unique to uh, the high performance lt1 motor also down here it indicates lt1 motor the 330 horsepower i think this has 360 pounds of torque got the right T-handle shifter, the correct one. Um, you have a tilt telescopic steering column, a little bit of rust on the turn signal lever there. Now it's got new carpet front to back uh, and it's installed really nicely. It's not wrinkled or cut too short. Uh, the seats have new cushion. They're nice and firm and new upholstery. Uh, center console, uh, or the, it has the power window switches. The plastic is not broken. So many people sit on these, crack them. Yeah, leather armrest. All the seat belts are here. All the inside plastic trim. All of this trim, the pillars, is in really nice shape. Behind the seats, nice. Now you have the compartment back here. Uh, this is where the T-tops go. You have the battery. Uh, and the window is stored up underneath here. This has a deluxe shoulder belts. So very nice interior. This trim up on top, I wanted to point out, and this is almost on all of them. It's a stainless steel. The tops rub on it. It's not beat up, but it's not polished like chrome either. Door shuts real nice. So let's see what an LT1 looks like. 
This is the VIN number matched LT1 motor uh, for this car. So it comes with the factory aluminum intake, uh, the finned aluminum valve covers, and of course internally they're built different. It's 60 horsepower more uh, than the standard 350 that came in the car in 1971. It has the correct manifolds, air cleaner, the ignition shielding, also features power steering, power brakes, and it looks very proper. Uh, reproduction hoses and clamps, the correct clutch fan, the shroud doesn't look like it's broken, the pulleys are lined up straight, uh, the components just look real nice in here. It looks like a very good motor compartment. So in a nutshell, underneath the car, in my opinion, is superior to most of them out there. The interior is exceptional. The body is exceptional. The paint is more than presentable. It's not pristine, but it's a really sharp looking paint job. Motor compartment's real nice, but you have a numbers matching uh, LT1 Corvette here. That's uh, in real good shape overall, and it's just a great driver. I gave you my impression. You can go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman, ask them your questions or talk to them about your concerns. They can help get this delivered to you no matter where you live. They can help you finance the car. It's all at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you're notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.